In the beginning, the muscle gains come quickly. As long as you're hitting the gym a few days a week and adding a couple of protein shakes to your diet, you'll have no problem experiencing noticeable changes from week to week. Once you've exhausted those magical newbie gains, however, muscle growth inevitably slows down. Unfortunately for most, the rate of muscle growth slows down more than it needs to. You see, we all want to gain muscle quickly, but it's a multifaceted process. Process. From adequate training, optimal recovery, and proper nutrition, there are many things you have to be doing right to pack on muscle optimally. Lucky for us, the science of muscle growth is clearer than it's ever been. That's why in this video, I want to share 8 proven ways to speed up muscle growth without having to compromise your health with dangerous drugs. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. Lift Heavier one study published in the Journal of Physiological Reports compared the effects of training intensity versus training volume on muscular size and strength adaptations. The high-intensity group performed sets of 3 to 5 reps at around 90% of their 1 rep max, while the high-volume group performed sets of 10 to 12 reps at 70% of their 1 rep max. They found that high-intensity training resulted in greater hypertrophy and strength gains compared to high volume training. The reason for this is simple. High intensity training activates more motor units, resulting in a higher number of muscle fibers experiencing mechanical tension. Now, this isn't to say that you can't build muscle from high volume training. In fact, this meta-analysis by Schoenfeld and colleagues suggested that low load training promotes substantial increases in muscle strength and hypertrophy. That said, they did observe a trend showing that high load training is super superior when it comes to maximizing hypertrophy and strength adaptations. So, while higher volume training will produce muscle growth, more experienced lifters are poised to make more gains doing heavy low volume sets. Number 2. Train to Failure or Close to It One recent systematic review published in the Journal of Sport and Health Science found that there was a significant positive effect of training to failure for experienced lifters. In another more recent study that looked at proximity to failure and its effects on different types of training adaptations, they reported that sets terminated closer to failure resulted in better hypertrophy outcomes. And before you assume that you're already pushing your sets as close to failure as needed, consider this. One meta-analysis found that average gym goers tend to underestimate their 1 rep max percentages by as much as 30%. In other words, most people in the gym are stopping around 5-10 to 10 reps of true failure. To ensure you're maximizing each set, here's what I recommend. Stop your sets once your rep speed involuntarily slows down. According to this systematic review published in the Journal of Sports Medicine, pushing your sets up to the point where rep speed slows down involuntarily corresponds to higher rates of muscle growth. And even if you're not sold on the idea of lifting heavy, you should still aim to take your sets to or close to failure. Number 3. Loaded Stretching Stretch-mediated hypertrophy happens when the giant protein titan is stretched, thereby producing passive mechanical tension. This happens as a muscle lengthens under load and you're actively contracting your muscles to control the weight, especially when nearing maximum muscle length. This can be achieved during a conventional resistance training set, where you slow down the final half of the eccentric portion of an exercise, even pausing at the length and position to accentuate the stretch. Stretch. This explains why, according to this study from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, when training at longer muscle lengths, some muscles experience optimal growth even when just performing partial reps. That said, if joint instability or fear of tearing something is a concern, you can opt to do inner set stretches instead. This involves performing a static stretch immediately after the final repetition of 
of a set, as this conceivably takes advantage of the residual effects of previous eccentric actions. Instead of performing reps, you simply hold the loaded stretch for at least 20 seconds. According to this systematic review from the Journal of Sports Medicine, the stretch must be high intensity and high volume to produce the intended result. To put it simply, stretch under heavy loads and stretch often. Number 4. Perform More Sets According to this study, published in the Journal of Sports Sciences, there's a dose-response relationship whereby increases in training volume produce greater gains in muscle hypertrophy. Based on this review by Vasquez and colleagues, doing four sets per muscle per week is enough to achieve substantial muscle gains. To maximize hypertrophy, however, the upper limit is around 10 weekly sets per muscle group. That said, there are studies showing that even higher volume volumes produced even greater degrees of hypertrophy. However, researchers believe that the muscle size gains from such high volumes are due to the increase of sarcoplasmic space, which is a result of increased intramuscular fluid. Basically, this sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is a long-lasting pump and is not deemed as actual muscle growth. True muscle growth is a result of the addition of new muscle fibers in a series or parallel to the old ones which is known as myofibrillar hypertrophy. Number 5. Get Enough Sleep Sleep affects the production of vital anabolic hormones that are responsible for building muscle tissue and positively influencing protein synthesis. A lack thereof, however, can make it nearly impossible for you to build muscle at all. In fact, one study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that just one week of sleep deprivation led to a 10 to 15 percent drop in testosterone production. Another 2018 study showed that just one night of sleep loss led to the observation of molecular signatures suggestive of muscle breakdown. And this 2021 study reported similar results, claiming that a single night of total sleep deprivation is sufficient to induce anabolic resistance and a pro-catabolic environment. Thus, insufficient sleep not only lowers your muscle building capabilities, but at the same time accelerates muscle loss. The opposite, however, is also true. Getting enough sleep increases your anabolic capacity while keeping muscle breakdown under control. So, while training and nutrition are important, none of it matters if sleep isn't a priority. Number 6. Take Creatine. Creatine has both a direct and indirect effect on enhancing muscular hypertrophy. Its indirect effect is found in its ability to significantly improve gym performance as reported in this 300 study meta-analysis. This ergogenic effect helps you train at higher intensities and closer to failure, both of which we have previously discussed that maximize the hypertrophy stimulus. Directly, creatine helps by pulling water into the muscle cells, making your muscles appear rounder and fuller. Not only that, but creatine supplementation amplifies the training-induced increase in satellite cell number and myonuclei concentration in human skeletal muscle fibers, thereby allowing an enhanced muscle fiber growth in response to strength training. And if you're still not sure if creatine supplementation is right for you, check out our video, 13 Things No One Tells You About Creatine. Number 7. Pre-Workout Caffeine First and foremost, caffeine enhances workout performance by increasing the number of repetitions you can achieve during resistance training sets. This study, for example, saw an increase in repetitions of 11.6% in the bench press and 19.1% in the leg press. Another similar study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that caffeine ingestion led to an increase in reps to failure for upper body movements done at 80% of one rep max. According to the position stand of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, caffeine is effective for enhancing various types of performance when consumed in low to moderate doses of around 1 to 3 milligrams per pound of body weight. And number 8. Refine Your Protein Intake There are multiple ways you can refine your protein intake to maximize muscle protein synthesis. First, 
eat enough protein. According to this study, one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day is the upper limit and ensures that you're maximizing muscle protein accretion. Second, to elicit a maximal anabolic response to your training efforts, consider consuming approximately 0.22 grams of protein per pound of body weight post-workout. For example, a 180-pound individual should consume around 40 grams of protein in their post-workout meal. And lastly, consume protein one to three hours before bed. Research shows that consuming approximately 40 grams of protein before bed displays a robust increase in muscle protein synthesis rates throughout the night. This nighttime protein consumption ensures that your muscles receive essential amino acids for repair and growth while you sleep. So there you have it. Eight proven ways to speed up muscle growth without resorting to dangerous drugs. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.